everyone, this is Miranda from My Scrappy Life and welcome back to my channel. This process video is for Make Paper Art and there is the cut file and there's my code Miranda10 for 10% off. Okay, so it's a traveler's notebook layout and I decided to take her Insta Love cut file and do up some daughter, like father daughter pictures. While I was in Florida in February, this was my husband's first, like, daughter, dad, I'm going to be home, mom's gone type of thing since we moved back from Germany. And he's an amazing dad. He does everything. He'll take her out for supper. He'll take her out to the movies, all that kind of stuff. But this was the first time that these two actually did a dinner and a movie type of thing here in the States. So I wanted to document this in her traveler's notebook and what I did was is that my husband is very good. He has now gotten to the point that he just sends me pictures of whatever she's doing while I'm gone because he knows sooner or later I'm probably going to scrap them. And that's what these three pictures are. So the first two that you saw me cut out and fit this cut file was at the movies and then this picture that I'm cutting up right now is at her favorite restaurant which is, which is Applebee's. Why? I don't know. Because she only gets the stinking mac and cheese and the mac and cheese is just something that I can make here at home but it's her favorite restaurant with her favorite food. It is what it is. <laughs> so that's what she, that's what she gets. But this was just her their time that they always do and when I go places like the scrapping retreat for Heather from Heather's Crafty Life when I went and did that in May he stayed home with her over the weekend as well and they went to another movie and did a dinner I think it was a dinner and a movie I think so too and it's just now have kind of been their thing so like this weekend I'm or this past weekend, I should say, because this is going to go up after I get back. Heather and I are going to Duluth, Georgia, for the Scrapbook Expo. And that'll be a weekend that he gets to spend with her as well after he gets off from work. And it's just something that they like to do. My husband's such an introvert or a homebody or whatever. He, if I tell him, hey, do you want to stay home with Kaylin? And he's like, when you leaving and what time are you going to be back? Because that's what they do. Back to the layout. I decided to get out the Stargazer collection from Dear Lizzie that was out last year. And play around with that. And that's when I backed the cut files up. And with the Insta Stories cut files... I trimmed up the pictures a little, or the cut file a little bit for me off of my Cricut so that more of the picture would show up and that's totally easable to do as well. That's the one thing I love the natures of cut files and I love Make Paper Arts cut files. Amanda's cut files are amazing to begin with. I've always enjoyed her cut files ever since I found her store through Heather's Crafty Life. and. I've never, I've never been disappointed, and I don't think I ever will. So I take this one 12 by 12 paper, and I cut it down to the size of the traveler's notebook, and I took this pink paper that I used, ruffle it up a little bit, and I make edges for the edges of the papers, just to make it look a little fun and whimsical, because it's my daughter's. And let's see here, what do else do I do? I also kind of change up the pictures a little bit. When I first started putting these down, I changed it up. I still use the pictures that I use, but I put them differently in there. But first, I do this one side, and I take the, because this is the first, we went to Ferdinand, if that's how you say it, kid movie. If you don't know, it's a kid movie. And Josh kept the, kept the tickets for me, the ticket stubs, because this was the first time that they went together. And that's what I placed down in the corner. And I get putting a camera there, and then the little sayings that I do put down there. One says, be the good, and the other one, this is my fave. 
And then I put a little camera down there, and that's where I do also put my date thing. Make sure that you go over and check out Amanda's Etsy shop. It's where all of the, sh the cut files are at. Make sure that you use my code Miranda10 to get 10% off. And let me tell you, I want you to go to any other cut file shops and find a cut file that is under a dollar because they're 99 cents. Like, I can't, you can't find them. And I use a lot of cut files. If you follow me on my channel, you know that I use a lot of cut files. I can buy almost all of her cut files and still have money left over because they are that good of quality. I love all of them. Never had an issue. They work very well. She covers the silhouette. She covers the cricket for all of us. And they're 99 cents each. And you get quite a bit. Like this Insta Love, I got four little cup files for 99 cents. Everything will be linked down below along with my code. My code is in the beginning of the video and as well at the end. So just in case you can get it. So here I am back, backing and putting everything back onto the layout. I'm finding little things here. I put a hot air balloon on one side and the little girl in the upper left side is called BU. And then I do put a little thing there that says be brave. And then I place a ca another camera down in the bottom because I just love, I have to say I do love Dear Lizzie's cameras. Hers are like on freaking point. And I thought I was going to use a chipboard, but I decided not to, so I got off the stickers instead. And that little sticker right there says, she's a wildflower, and let me tell you, she is definitely a wildflower. I'm so glad I didn't put that that flower cluster there. That was, geez, Miranda, what was I thinking? So I back up the camera with some foam tape. And these here are Stampin' Up! Dimensionals that I'm using there. I use every little piece of the foam that's on there. And I place a couple of birds on the one side. I'm not sure why I put a lemon up there, but I put a lemon up there because I like the color. And then I round out with some stars and then this is pretty much it. You will see you put it together and obviously you see that it's not part of the Traveler's Notebook yet, so I do place and show you how to do that as well to be able to keep it without cutting it in half and placing it on there as well. And I'm just going finishing up. You'll see me pull out some fine and dandy stars, place that in there. And then the last few seconds of this is me putting this in my tra daughter's Traveler's Notebook. And I am done with it. So make sure you check everything out. Like and subscribe to my channel, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!